Alrighty then. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs, day number 1059. Feeling good and feeling fine. That was meant to rhyme. Hope you guys are all right, doing well out there, doing your thing. Uh, say hello in the chat, uh, because if you don't leave a comment, I don't know you're there. Shout out to Crazy Dasher. And, uh, you know, say something. Say something. Anyway, if you are a delivery driver in the gig economy, you should be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. That is correct. So uh, subscribe with all notifications. And of course, guys, friendly thumbs up reminder, hit that like button down below. If you could, it takes half a second. Uh, what, what it does is it tells YouTube that you guys are enjoying the videos and it will help recommend it to other delivery drivers in the gig economy. So comment 111 if you did it, 222 if you didn't, say hello in the chat and let's jump into this. Sarah, Christopher and Pamela Tucker, Faye DeRoe and everybody. So I got to give a big shout out. What's up, uh, HJ and Gagan? How are you? Um, big shout out to Brian for sending this to us. I want to say thank you to Brian. He spells his name B R uh, B R Y O N. So it says DoorDash introduces a new corporate product, DoorDash for work. Did you guys hear about this? Uh, delivery service DoorDash is giving employers a way to feed their remote employees through a new suite of products called DoorDash for work. There are four main products, starting with DashPass for Work, where employers can fund employee memberships in DashPass, a program that eliminates delivery fees on orders from thousands of restaurants. In fact, DoorDash says it already worked with Mount Sinai to offer free DashPass subscriptions to 42,000 healthcare employees, and that other DashPass for Work customers include... Um, Charles Schwab, Hulu, and Stanford Research Park. Uh, DoorDash for Work also includes the ability for employers to provide credits for meal orders. There are options for day and time restrictions, so employers can be sure they're paying for food while someone is working. For teams that are working in person, there's the ability to combine individual meal orders into a larger group order. And the service also includes employee gift cards. Zoom, for example, is providing these on employee birthdays. Uh, let's see. In a blog post, Broderick McClinton, the head of DoorDash for Work, noted that COVID-19 has had a profound impact on our daily routines, including the way we eat. Instead of meeting our favorite barista on the way into the office or socializing with our colleagues in the lunchroom, we're spending a lot more time in the kitchen and eating solo at home missing out on those moments to engage with peers and support our favorite restaurants, McClinton wrote. In this new normal, companies are adapting and looking for ways to support their employees' well-being and productivity through new work-from-home corporate wellness benefits, including food perks. Uh, just going to pause there for a second, just take a quick break. If you guys are still with me in the chat or on the replay, comment the new normal right now. I'll give you a second to do that. Seriously, comment the new normal. Did you do it? See, I knew you wouldn't do it. Ah, a couple of people did. All right. While free food might seem relatively low on the list of priorities during the pandemic, at least for those of us who have been fortunate enough to keep our jobs, DoorDash says it conducted a survey of 1,000 working Americans last month and found that 90% of them said they miss at least one food-related benefit from the office. So DoorDash for Work is designed, to, is designed to help employers continue offering benefits in this area, and also it opens up a new source of revenue for DoorDash. So do you guys agree with this? Do you think DoorDash for Work is a good thing? Yes or no? Comment 333 if you agree, 444 if you disagree, or just comment agree or disagree. All right, let's come back to the chat room here. Uh, what's up? John Christophe, what's up? D Jinx. Or DJ and X, what's up, Faye DeRo and everybody? Well, let me take a sip of water, getting a little parched over here. But yeah, you know, I mean, I think DoorDash is just trying to find another way to to help out. You know, 
Um, and what my other question for this is, um, are drivers, you know, still getting paid the same for this? I mean, cause it's, I'm assuming this means that regular dashers are still picking up these orders, you know? Uh, well, H day, the, the thing is, I'm a, who's going to deliver the food is the question. I'm assuming it's us dashers, unless they have a whole other department for DoorDash for work, you know? So I guess only time will tell. And of course, everybody, just a friendly reminder to hit that like button down below. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, what it does is it tells YouTube uh, that you guys are enjoying the videos in here and everything. So uh, it'll recommend it to other delivery drivers in the gig economy. So hit that like button down below and uh, comment 111 if you did, 222 if you didn't. Uh, DJNX says, uh, dude, I hate what DoorDash did to me. It marked me extremely late for going to Merchant and leaving again. Uh, I'm not allowed to go and come back if it'll take a bit to make the food. I don't know. <clears throat> That's, uh, you know, it. You're not the only one ha going through that, though, DJ uh, NX. Let me. I'm just. I want to actually ask everybody watching right now. Um, have you had any issues with DoorDash marking your orders extremely late uh, for any reason at all? Comment three 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 for yes, four 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 for no. Uh, this is pot of drive orders. A part of dro drive orders. It's like catering. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, right, gotcha. Right, the drive orders. Uh, what's up, Sarah? Everybody else in the chat, of course. Um, which app right now? Because I like to ask this question from time to time. And like I said, the reaction is different every time. So right now in the chat or in the comment section, tell me which app right now is making you the most money. Is it Grubhub? Is it DoorDash? Is it Uber Eats? Is it Postmates? Is it Caviar? Which one is it? Let me know down below. I'm just curious to see. Um, for me, Grubhub has always been the one that makes me the most money. You know, but it seems like DoorDash, because of just their massive size, uh, they seem to be the ones that are really uh, on the ball with vo order volume. Because a lot of people have been saying that Grubhub has been slow for them lately. So that's definitely kind of unfortunate. And I do want to take this time, uh, everybody, to thank our patrons over at patreon.com slash paid to drive. Basically, what Patreon does is uh, people have a subscription every month. Uh, it helps me, it helps support me in the channel, and uh, helps get more exposure to them. They get shout-outs just like this, so if you want to sign up, link's down below, or uh, maybe one of our moderators in the chat can put a clickable link, http colon forward slash forward slash patreon.com slash paid to drive. I'll give somebody a second to do that. So I want to say thank you to Tulsa Todd, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Brian Pomeroy, William Boudreau, Sarah, Alan G. Van Horn, Scott Freisner, Drew Hanor, Katie Coppin, Ride Share Lisa, Stephen Neely, Destiny Rudolph, Dave Chen, Frank, Jason Casta, Sherry Cassidy, Nick G, Ginny Thomas, Matt Epperson, and of course, Terrence Pacheco. Uh, so if you heard your name called, let me know if you heard your name. And of course, make sure to sign up on the Get Upside Gas app. Uh, comment 333 if you're on there already. 444 if you have no idea what I'm talking about. In the description down below, there will be a free link to download this app for your smartphone. Pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, they'll give you anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic if you ask me. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Everybody wins. It's actually one of those situations where everybody wins. And of course, guys, remember, New paid to drive uh, t-shirts are available. I'm not wearing one right now, but a bunch of you guys have already bought them. So thank you to everybody who has been buying them so far and stickers. We sold a bunch of stickers too. Uh, bitly.com slash paid to drive merch. The link will be in the pinned top comment and in the description down below. If you want to pick up something for yourself, holidays are coming. Treat yourself. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. Thank you to everybody in the chat. If you made it to the end, comment end 427 and 427. Get that money. Get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you guys next time right here on what channel, everybody? Paid to drive and pay to drive vlogs that's right sarah i I'm, i gave you moderator privileges because you just joined up with patreon so i just want to make sure uh and real quick everybody seriously i want to thank every single one of you for still showing up and supporting me in the channel with the videos and everything and uh i've definitely been getting a lot 
of uh, great feedback lately. So um, just hope everyone's doing well. Thank you for being here. And uh, Lexi, Rick Review, Sarah, everybody in the chat, we are live, but I got to wrap this up right now. Hope you guys are great. Enjoy the rest of your night, and we'll see you next time. Peace out, everybody. Later. Mahalo, man. Mahalo. Hey.